Let's promise them everything under the sun, but how about answering the question of who's actually going to pay for it? Isn't that the problem? Why would McDonald's go out and make the statement? I've been working with them now for the last 10 years. I know the insides of major companies that are not ready to talk about it, that are ready to drop benefits. And in fact, we've promised everything that we could, and people have the money to pay for it. Why are they dropping it? The fact of the matter is, is that employers can't afford to pay for the coverage that they're expected to pay right now. They may opt to pay the penalty. Insurance carriers can't stay above the 80 to 85 percent medical okay. loss ratio and do everything well, under the sun. It's impossible. Employers, consumers, insurance carriers, doctors, nobody can sustain the current model. And so the government is going to have to step in clearly here in order to sustain the model. And perhaps that was their intention all along. Dr. Morheim, well, all Dr. of those, Potter, those things yeah. offered, which are wanted in that pamphlet, how do we pay for them, keep the quality as good, but yet keep premiums down from private insurers? Well, Dr. Paterazzo may be consulting with McDonald's, but I'm still practicing medicine. So on the front lines, let me put it this way. We, since we don't deny care for anybody in the United States, they can always go to the emergency room and get any, in any, all kinds of services. We're paying for all this anyways. Clearly, you have to understand that getting somebody into a primary care program and having them uh, take their high blood pressure medicine mm, for 50 advance. cents a day is a lot cheaper than paying $100,000 after they've had the stroke or heart but attack it's going or into going the, kidney but dialysis. It's going into the... we're, paying for, we're paying for it anyways. And the question is how yeah, do you well, reallocate you know, those on, resources Dr. Moore, to be more ahead, Dr. Potter, to lower sir. costs? You know, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, in all due respect, um, I have been practicing medicine for many years, and I've seen medicine from the other side, which many doctors don't have the perspective of where the dollar begins as a system, and that's part of the problem. I can tell you that the attitude of, well, people can still go to the emergency room, well, that's exactly what's going to happen to consumers if they don't get coverage through their employer, if Medicaid doesn't cover them, and if they can't get okay. it through the exchanges, then we're back to square one Look, all Dr. over Morhan, again.